Okay, this is the last of this, the series. What we're doing now is putting the valve body back onto this Nissan Murano that we were repairing. Okay, what I'm touching now is the lever that hooks to the ratio control motor. Okay, now you have to make sure you move those wiring out of the way. But this part here, the lever where it has the split in it, has to hook into a, 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 a slot. And you will see that slot. I'm going to show it to you. And it's this one right there. I'll get a screwdriver and point to it so you can see it. That slot right here is what it has to go around. If you miss that slot, you're going to have to take this valve body back out and make sure that you engage that onto that slot. Now, you may have to take the transmission out, but I don't think so with this one. You would probably just have to drop the pan, but you still have to take the valve body out. Uh, you have to go through this part again. So, the best thing to do is to try to get this right the very first time. And it's going to take some time to do. Okay, so now I'm using a screwdriver and a flashlight so I can see it, so I can make sure it engages inside this slot. Okay, as you can see that it's taking me some time to do this. Uh, some of you might get it in at the first uh, try, but if not, you still must make sure that tab is in there. Okay, now once you got the tab in, here is, I have a sleeve, and that sleeve goes around the manual valve shaft. So you just drop it inside, make sure it goes down. Okay, and then you can get the valve body bolts. And make sure you put all the valid body bolts in. What I like to do when I put them in, I do like to turn them a bit for the first two or three threads to make sure they're going in and not being cross-threaded. Also, when you use your impact gun, make sure it's turned all the way down to low. You just want to snug them and then you want to go over them by hand. 
You don't want an impact gun that's trying to blast away at the bolts. Okay, because you're over tightening, you can strip the threads out. Okay, now, after you have tightened the bolts, then the part over here, you got to hook the connectors up one to the pressure switch and to the other switch that's over there in the corner. So you don't want to forget that. These switches right over here. Once you get those hooked up, then the next step is to um, put on the gasket. Uh, oh, there is something in, that I'm missing. You have to put and you'll see because I took it off I'm thinking about something now and this is why it's good to have all the parts laid out on a bench so I'm pausing here because there's something I missed and what I missed was um, the nuts in the manual valve uh, tab this part right here so you got two nuts here so the tab only goes one way so when you put it in the groove, set it inside of the manual valve slot, then you have, it's just a matter of putting the nuts on. So you put the bottom nut on, and you have to hold that shaft some type of way if you just take the wrench like this and try to tighten it you will see that you're going to break something you don't want to do that so what you want to do is what I did is get a vice grip and hold that tab and then tighten it tighten the nut Okay, and after you tighten the bottom nut, then the next step is to go on and tighten the top nut. So after you tighten the top nut, what you to tighten the top nut, what you have to do is just use the two wrenches, hold the one nut, and then tighten the top nut. All right, now you're ready to put the the bottom pan on top or on the gasket here. All right. Then it's a matter of just putting the bolts in the pans, and you already know how to do this. After you screw them in, use your impact gun, low speed, snug them, and then after you snug them, then go around by hand. In this case, it don't seem like I used the impact gun. Okay, there it is. Yeah, you go by hand by the impact gun and then you go around by hand so there you have the pan on the bottom pans so what we're looking at now is a Nissan Murano CVT transmission that is complete. All right, the complete version. And that is it. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and until next time. Thank you.